Hi everybody, it's Lovable Lou here. You ever wonder what happens when you get 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide dripped directly onto skin? So when I was first handling this stuff, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so scary. You know, I used to wear the rubber gloves and everything and there's a sign, it's corrosive and uh, well it is. This I keep in the freezer, that's why it's all like kind of frosty looking. This I keep in the cupboard. So on my video about uh, mixing 3% hydrogen peroxide from 35%, I talked about how this grows if, uh, if you just leave it sealed all the time, which I do. Um, because the hydrogen peroxide will evaporate much more readily than uh, water. So this grows like a big balloon every time I gotta like let the pressure out. But anyway, just to keep this more controlled, I'm going to use uh, this is this stuff here. It's exactly the same. I pour it into theirs. And I'm going to uh, drip some on my skin. And you'll see what happens. And I, I can tell you what's going to happen. It's the hydrogen peroxide is uh, is going to start to make my skin change color. And what I'm going to feel is like little red ants biting my skin. That's what it feels like. First time it happened to me is I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I've been, I'm being bitten by ants or something. So if you just drip this on yourself, if you get some on your skin, and it'll never pool like that, right? You'll get it on your skin and it'll just run off. So you can see it's already changing color of my skin. And I'll just put some more drops on here and I'll leave it on there a little longer because, oh, I didn't notice I had some on me, right? So I'm just going to leave that on there for a while. This is 35% food grade. And I'm just going to shake it off. You can see it's, it's kind of already uh, changing the color of my skin a little bit. You see it's turning it white. Right? I'm still not getting any um, biting feelings at all. So it's just, it's just like fizzing. Okay, now I'm starting to get biting feelings here. It's starting to feel like ants are biting me right now. Okay, and it's probably because that skin's a little more ten tender or sensitive. You know, usually I get this stuff on the tips of my fingers. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Like I usually get it right here because I'm handling it. Or I'll get it here on my fingers. And oh, this is really starting to bite now. So then you'll see that, uh, see the color changes almost right away. Where the skin's more sensitive, it's, it's a it's a different type of skin, I guess. But you know, I'm I'm starting to get a little bit of biting sensation, and the skin's turning white. So you can see it's all turning white, and now it's starting to itch and feel like bug bites. Okay, so. All you do when you when you discover you have this stuff on your hands is don't panic. I know people wear rubber gloves and everything and if you're going to handle like large quantities then you know wear the goggles and everything because in your eye I don't think it'll be that forgiving. But this is really, uh, it's, it's getting itchy now. It's gone away from, the, this still feels like bug bites right here. And now it's starting to feel like bug bites here. Like um, ants biting me. So all you do is just rinse it off cool water or whatever you want okay now you might start to panic and I'm telling you don't worry no. you might start to panic don't worry about the skin see it's all white it's gonna stay white for about oh less than an hour it'll stay white and then all of a sudden it'll just clear up like it'll be gone like and there won't be any sign that you ever had any hydrogen peroxide on you. So, as the, you know, the label says it's corrosive, you know, um, yeah, I like how corrosive, right? So, anyway, I have a video on how we use this in our hot tub instead of hot tub chemicals. Uh, it makes you feel so much better. Of course, you don't come out of the hot tub with white bubbly skin and bug bite feelings. You come out feeling beautiful and revives and anyway, I've got a video on that. So there it is. Now, if I just leave that alone, 
all that whiteness will go away on its own. It'll just, like right now the itching is still there because the skin's all dried up, right? So I can feel it when I scratch it that the skin's dried up, it's coming off. But uh, for the most part, it's all going to go away. You won't even see anything left at all. It'll be all gone. Anyway, I hope that stopped you know, some people from being scared of this stuff. It just turns your skin kind of white and uh, dries it up a little bit. But as soon as your, your skin will revive itself, this is absorbing into your blood, which is not a bad thing. And um, the itching will go away. Guaranteed. Everything will be normal. See, my fingers are all white. Look. Oh, white. That's normal. So I'll, I'll come back in a little while and I'll show you how it's all gone. Like it's, it'll be totally gone. All that whiteness. And I won't have to wash or anything. I've already rinsed once. That's all you need to do. Okay, so there's my hand. There's, uh, see it's still white. It's about 10 minutes now. And you see it's getting a little whiter as it goes. It turns more and more white. It's no big deal. It's on my thumb. Okay. And it's almost gone. It's going to start to fade now. Right after it's done all that white powdery stuff. Powdery looking. It's not really powder. but So I'll keep you updated. Okay, so this is 20 minutes later. And you can see my fingertips are starting to lose that white stuff. All right. Um, all this hand, it's all gone. There's no more white. Here, there's a little bit of white on the tip of this finger. Okay, and here on my hand, it's still quite a bit of white. But it's all going away. It'll be gone inside of an hour. Totally gone. It won't be a mark or anything. So about an hour later, I had no more marks on my hands, all cleaned up perfectly, as if they had never had any hydrogen peroxide, 35% food grade spilled on my hands. So I'm, I'm so happy. Now, that's not to say that you, you, uh, you can't respect this stuff, because you got to respect this stuff. Uh, if you get it on your skin and it starts biting, then rinse your skin off with uh, water. I've never left it on my skin and not rinsed it. You gotta rinse it. It's gonna get painful. Uh, keep it away from your eyes. You know, if you're um, really worried about it, wear some goggles when you handle hydrogen peroxide. But uh, for the most part, I love the stuff. I use it on all kinds of uh, things around the house and on ourselves. And it just, it's so handy to have. Plus, it's great to have in the hot tub. I love having a hydrogen peroxide hot tub. You can check that out on um, on one of my videos as, as a hydrogen peroxide hot tub. Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and let your friends know. I'd really appreciate it. So bye for now.